In computing, a plugin or plugin, add-in, add-in, add-on, add-on or extension is a software component that adds a specific feature to an existing computer program. When a program supports plugins, it enables customization. The common examples are the plugins used in web browsers to add new features such as search engines, virus scanners, or the ability to use a new file type such as a new video format. Well-known browser plugins include the Adobe Flash Player, the QuickTime Player, and the Java plugin, which can launch a user-activated Java applet on a web page to its execution on a local Java virtual machine. A theme or skin is a preset package containing additional or changed graphical appearance details, achieved by the use of a graphical user interface that can be applied to specific software and websites to suit the purpose, topic, or tastes of different users to customize the look and feel of a piece of computer software or an operating system front-end and window managers. Purpose and examples Applications support plugins for many reasons. Some of the main reasons include To enable third-party developers to create abilities which extend an application To support easily adding new features To reduce the size of an application to separate source code from an application because of incompatible software licenses, types of applications and why they use plugins Audio editors use plugins to generate, process or analyze sound. Ardor and Audacity are examples of such editors. Digital audio workstations use plugins to generate sound or process it. Examples include Logic Pro 10 and Pro Tools. Email clients use plugins to decrypt and encrypt email. Pretty Good Privacy is an example of such plugins. Video game console emulators often use plugins to modularize the separate subsystems of the devices they seek to emulate. For example, the PCSX2 emulator makes use of video, audio, optical, etc. plugins for those respective components of the PlayStation 2. Graphics software use plugins to support file formats and process images, cf. Photoshop plugin. Media players use plugins to support file formats and apply filters, FUBAR 2000, GStreamer, Quintessential, VST, Winamp, XMMS are examples of such media players. Packet sniffers use plugins to decode packet formats. Omnipeak is an example of such packet sniffers. Remote sensing applications use plugins to process data from different sensor types, e.g., optics. Text editors and integrated development environments use plugins to support programming languages or enhance development process, e.g., Visual Studio, Rad Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, Jedit, and Monodevelop support plugins. Visual Studio itself can be plugged into other applications via Visual Studio Tools for Office and Visual Studio Tools for Applications. Web browsers use browser extensions to expand their functionality. Examples include Adobe Flash Player, Java SE, QuickTime, Microsoft Silverlight and Unity. Mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> The host application provides services which the plugin can use, including a way for plugins to register themselves with the host application and a protocol for the exchange of data with plugins. Plugins depend on the services provided by the host application and do not usually work by themselves. Conversely, the host application operates independently of the plugins, making it possible for end users to add and update plugins dynamically without needing to make changes to the host application. Programmers typically implement plugin functionality using shared libraries, which get dynamically loaded at run time, installed in a place prescribed by the host application. HyperCard supported a similar facility, but more commonly included the plugin code in the HyperCard documents called stacks themselves. 
Thus the HyperCard stack became a self-contained application in its own right, distributable as a single entity that end-users could run without the need for additional installation steps. Programs may also implement plugins by loading a directory of simple script files written in a scripting language like Python or Lua. Topic: <laughs> Mozilla definition. In Mozilla Foundation definitions, the words add-on, extension, and plugin are not synonyms. Add-on can refer to anything that extends the functions of a Mozilla application. Extensions comprise a subtype, albeit the most common and the most powerful one. Mozilla applications come with integrated add-on managers that, similar to package managers, install, update and manage extensions. The term, plugin. however, strictly refers to NPAPI-based web content renderers. Plugins are being deprecated. History Plugins appeared as early as the mid-1970s, when the EDT text editor running on the Unisys VS.9 operating system using the Univac Series 90 mainframe computers provided the ability to run a program from the editor and to allow such a program to access the editor buffer, thus allowing an external program to access an edit session in memory. The plug-in program could make calls to the editor to have it perform text editing services upon the buffer that the editor shared with the plug-in. The Waterloo Fortran compiler used this feature to allow interactive compilation of Fortran programs edited by EDT. Very early PC software applications to incorporate plug-in functionality included HyperCard and QuarkExpress on the Macintosh, both released in 1987. In 1988, Silicon Beach Software included plug-in functionality in Digital Darkroom and SuperPaint, and Ed Baumke coined the term plug-in. See also Applet Shared library